Greetings and salutations, life and poetry fam. Welcome back to the channel with your boy, your host, you guessed it, Marcus T, this guy. Before we jump into this video, please, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment on this video, share it, all that good stuff. Remember, we are on the road to 100 subscribers by my birthday. We're gonna get there. I have faith in, in you guys to, to push this out there so we can make that happen. Um, so yeah, we, we want this channel to grow. We want it to go into something very special. Um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into this video. So with everything going on around us today, I wanted to do a kind of different type of video, kind of special video. Um, it's kind of falling in my eyes with some of the videos I've done before when I first started out couple months ago <laughs> and I wanted to simply you know bring forward some type of encouragement I know that with everything happening with the COVID-19 and and people um, uh, not being able to go to work and and having a hard time trying to provide for their families and putting food in their refrigerators and things of that nature I wanted to do something to encourage those who are affected by this and uh, in, in, in a way of, of loss or, or despair or any type of way, seriously, it's in any type of way, really. Um, I just want to encourage you guys to continue to press on um, because no matter what it looks like, trust that God has it in control. It may not look like it just yet, but I know that that God will make a way for you to provide for your families and for yourselves. And even if you don't have a job right now, um, I, I, I know in my faith that things will get better. We just have to keep doing what we've, what we've been doing, practicing social distancing, um, making sure our hygiene is, is where it should be, things of that nature. Um, and yeah, and so, what I wanted to do to expand on this encouraging tip is I reached out to some of my church family members and got them on board with helping me out with this video. And they did something very special for, for the Life and Poetry family. They put together um, some words of encouragement for you guys. And we wanted to share them with you because right now to be encouraged is a big thing with everything going on around us, we must stay encouraged. Even in the darkness of it all, we have to stay encouraged. I cannot emphasize that enough. We have to stay lifted up, encouraged, and try to find the light in the dark times. And hopefully, this will do just that. So, without further ado, here's some of my church family sending you guys some encouraging videos. Getting to know you. You're unique. <laughs> we already know that God created us wonderfully and fearfully and in his image. So just getting to know you. What is it that you like? What is it that strengthens you? What is it that motivates you? Those are the times and things that we are focusing on. 
and even just enjoying. We never really had time to enjoy the way we would like to because we were always working and doing so many different things. But now we have the time. Put on some old music and dance and have a party with you. Enjoy you. Whether you like reading, whether you like surfing the internet for new ideas, redecorating, always had things that needed to be reorganized and cleaned out. So now's the best time to do it. Whatever it is, it is that makes you happy. You're rediscovering you. What makes you tick? What makes you unique? What makes you you? And that's the time that we're using. We also get in time to have that, that intimacy with our daddy, God the Father. And in that time, prayer time, worshiping, reading his word, getting to know who he is. He has always proven himself faithful. His love is unconditional. He loves you so much more than anyone else can. He made you. He loves you. He wants the best for you. And in this time, he is resetting you to do exactly what he's called for you to do. Get out sometimes. Go take a walk in the neighborhood. Be wise. <laughs> Use your mask. Practice social distancing. But it's good just to get out, feel the sun, feel the fresh air. Come in rejuvenated and renewed. Also spending some good time with family. I love these Zooms. We have family Zooms. We have alma mater Zooms. Whatever it is that you need some human stimulation sometimes, Zoom is a good way to do it. So I just want to encourage you to stay strong. Be encouraged during this time of temporary shutting. Get to know and love you. And I guarantee you, with God, you're going to come out renewed, re-strengthened, and better for the new that he has for all of us. Be encouraged, stay safe, and stay healthy. Thanks, Marcus. Don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube page, Marcus T. Life and Poetry. See you soon. Everyone. My name is Daniel Bain Jr. I'm here to say everybody to stay safe, stay encouraged during COVID-19. Me and myself to help me get through this. I'm planning, build, develop to start my own detail business. As you see behind me, this is my wife's truck. I had detail, so I'm trying to get my business out there so everyone know that this is where I'm going back. So stay encouraged, stay safe, and this is the time where you can research to start your own business to do your special prep. Thank you. Mr. Poet, thanks for inviting your New Life family to your page. Um, we're here just to encourage the people during this time of the pandemic. Um, I just want to say to you all, I have no magic pill to offer you. There's no um, quick scheme to kind of get your emotions in check. All I have is the word of God. And this is not to sound religious. This is not to feed you some bull. <laughs> this is real. This is real life. Anything that you allow to, you know, enter into your ear gates and your eye gates constantly will kind of consume you. And so if you're constantly listening to the news and constantly going back and forth with friends and families on the tragedies and all the terrible stuff that's happening right now, it will really just kind of take you take over and lead you in a place of fear and despair. But when you really when you go to the word of God, it is chock full of promises of confidence it is chock full of life and so that's what I'm depending on right now I, I feel like I've never read the word as much as I've read it since we've been in this lockdown and I'm telling you I so need it I so need it and I invite you to check it out for yourself it is life changing it is my encouragement it is my rock it's my foundation so just be steadfast in the word that's what, what's for us God left it for us, and so be encouraged by it. All right, y'all take care. Well, hello there. I'm bringing you some encouraging words from New Life Change and Christian Center. And, you know, one of the things that God does for me is he always gives me a song in my spirit. Although we're going through some challenging times right now, there's no need for us to worry. If there is no need for you, for me or anyone to worry. But this is the song that we sing every day, my mother and I, and it goes, 
Come on in my room, yeah. Come on in my room, yeah. Jesus is my doctor and he writes all of my prescriptions and he brings me all of my medicine in my room. So what that song does for me is one, you're calling God, you're bringing him into your presence, into your surroundings, into your situation, because you're like, come on, God, come on in my room. Then he brings me all of my medicine, right? The medicine is the word of God, what he has promised us, his word that he will never leave us nor forsake us. We shall be the head and we shall not be the tail. He has plans for us to prosper and be in good health, right? So he does all those things and he brings it into our room. He brings it into our heart, our mind, and our spirit. So when you're going through some challenging times, I hope that you remember God's word. He will never lie. He's a man that he should never lie. He's a faithful man. If you look throughout the scriptures from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he has always kept his promises. The promises are still alive today. The word is alive as well and is moving as you go through the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. God's word is still active. It's still alive. His promises are yea and amen. Those things that he has spoken in your life, God is going to do it. And, you know, if you believe it, you shall receive it. And just keep remembering that song. Have that song in your spirit throughout the day. Come on in my room, yeah. Come on in my room, yeah. Jesus is my doctor. And he writes all of my prescriptions And he brings me all of my medicine in my room Oh yes he does Believe his word Believe him for everything that he has spoken He will not leave you He will not forsake you And this is And, and if you look at what's going on God's children are prospering, right? God's children are, it's a great time for us to be alive, you know? Receive and believe everything that God has spoken to you. Believe the word of God and believe that he is alive and he's well. You are victorious. You are a winner. And you shall be the head and not the tail. No weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Be blessed and know is well. It is so well. Rejoice in the word of God. Rejoice that he is alive and well and he is in you and he's in me and all is good. God bless you. Be encouraged. Be victorious. You are a winner. God loves you and I love you too. Have a great one. So with the pandemic going on and this whole COVID-19 issue, I've been working through it, constantly wearing a mask, constantly using hand sanitizer, keeping hand sanitizer on me, constantly washing my hands. But I would encourage everybody to just stay positive through this. It's like a whole lot of negativity going on, but I would just suggest everybody to like stay positive, keep up with your blessings, keep praying, keep doing whatever you can. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Hello, um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or wherever this message may land, because I have no idea. Listen, my assignment today is to encourage you, to send you a word of encouragement. And the first thing I want to bring attention to is the fact that you are looking at your phone or your computer and you see me talking and you're listening so you woke up this morning that's a good day <laughs> that is a great day actually and the second thing is you have the activity of your limbs because you were able to get on your phone pick your phone up scroll to find this message and stop at it and to look at it and see it and hear it so you have all the activity of your limbs. Not only did you wake up, but all of your limbs are working. It's a great day. 
The third thing I want to tell you is, is that though it's raining outside, the sun of God still shines, yet shines bright. The fourth thing I want to tell you, fourth and final thing I want to tell you is the word of God tells us in Psalms 23, we all know it, but I think it's verse four and it says, um, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, read this a million times, never paid attention to it. It's just a shadow. (laughs) When have you known a shadow to hurt anybody? Never. Never. It's just a shadow. So listen, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comforts me. The rod and the staff is a representation of authority and power, which means you have the authority and power to get rid of any depression, um, any agitation, frustration or agitation that you may have in your life. I know that during this pandemic, you know, people are having issues with mental health. That's very serious. Um, You're having situations with your jobs, you know, they're closing or you're working from home and you're not used to it. You're in the house all the time and you're in the house with family that you thought you knew and you found out you didn't know. That's a lituation right there. But you have the authority and the power to not allow it to attack your spirit or to attack your, your, your psyche so that you be in a funky place. You have the power and the authority to do it. So that will, those are my four key things for you today to encourage your heart. I want you to find a scripture that you can stand on, you can read it, meditate on it, and something that helps put you in a good place. Okay, listen, I only know this because I do it myself. So it definitely works. But just remember, it is an awesome day when you open your eyes to see another new one because you didn't have to because there's so many who didn't. So sons of God, y'all blessed and highly favored. And guess what? It ain't over till God say it's over. Amen. All right. Be encouraged. I am Robin Strozier from the New Life Changing Christian Center in Brandywine, Maryland. You may know me. You may not. Hopefully we'll get to know each other soon. All right. Stay positive. Hello, family. How y'all doing today? I'm just here to give y'all a little encouraging word for what's going on in this world today and this this crazy world and what's, what's happening right now. I know we in a time of, of uncertainty and we don't know what's going on what's going to happen with this um, with the virus and other things that are going on things that shut down the economy job loss and things and we can be sitting around not knowing what's going to happen how am i going to pay my bill how is this going to happen how am i go back to school how am i go back to work what is this what is that how is this and we can rack our heads and we're sitting in the house and i guess you can say quarantine on a shutdown and we're looking like my god how is this going through but I'm gonna speak for myself and how I'm getting through it. And I have to be honest and just straight up, just straightforward with you, God is getting me through it. God is showing me that this time that we're in is, is a time of evolve. And I looked up evolve, evolve means to grow, to mature. And as I'm sitting in the house, I'm looking at myself and I'm in the house with myself. So now I have to look at myself, no haircuts, no shaves. I can't get this, can't go out and get what I normally do. But I'm looking and I said, look at myself, looking who I am, finding out who exactly who I am. I'm learning who my my son is, my wife is, and I'm getting into that. And it's maturing and it's growing because I know this won't last forever. But I do know this is a time that we're in that I I knew we do have a new norm. Let me say that. And this norm and we're going to get adjusted to it and things are going to move on and we're going to grow and continue to grow. But in us, in the family. We're going to continue to grow and grow and evolve. And this is also a time for entrepreneurship. This is time for that you're sitting around that the business that you wanted to do, it's time to do it. That venture that you wanted to take out and, and move on and you didn't have time to do it, now you have time to do it. And I think this is an excellent time. Like I said, it's time for evolvement, grow, growing, maturing in all aspects of our lives. And I thank y'all I hope this gets out to someone and encourages someone. And I just want to say one thing. If you're listening to this video, watching this video, then you're not part of that that number, that death number that we have in the United States. 
you're still standing upright, you still have life, you're still breathing, and God is still in control. I'm Pastor Rob from New Life Changer Christian Center. Y'all have a blessed day and enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, this is evolving time. This is not downtime. You're not going backwards. You're going forward. This is growth. This is maturity. All right, y'all have a blessed day. Have a peaceful day. I'm signing off.